and how might everybody be doing today? So, like I promised in the past, we're gonna do the thing. You know the thing I said? I'm gonna play one of my own games. And what better game to play than Home From Work, the third one. I don't know why. I actually don't know why I'm not gonna play the second one or the first one. For some reason, this past week or couple weeks or whatever, um, I've had a huge craving to play this game. I don't know why, I just wanted to try it out again, see how it was. And if you go back to Game Jolt here, which was the initial publish area, two years ago is the last time I actually did anything with it, had any affiliation with it. So not gonna lie, I'm pretty damn excited to go into this game. Just from the screenshots alone and everything, it's gonna be spooky. So we're gonna try to play this, developer plays his own games. It's been two years since I ch touched it in any way. So to be honest, I don't know exactly what the game is like. It's been hella long. And all I know at this point is I'm excited to play it. Don't know much about it anymore, even though I built it. <laughs> but excited to play it. Definitely excited to play it. Um, I do remember a few things about it, honestly. But like I said, not a lot about it. <clears throat> but I will still try to speed run the whole thing and try to finish it as quick as possible. Increase the volume, nice. Uh, let's do 70. And play it. Like I said, I'm excited. I'm gonna get right into it. Hope it's good. Probably won't be that good since it was made two years ago. But even my current games aren't that good, so, you know, <laughs> it's a lose lose either way. Another turn vex game. Ooh, spooky. All right. Let's do it. Let's do it. Yeah, like I said, though, I'm freaking excited to play this thing. Definitely slightly beeping. It's pretty damn loud beeping. Ah, oh, you guys can see my volume when I increase it. That means I can't turn it down. Because that means you will know. Shit. Special thanks for the following. Provide a piece of audio for the game. Thank you, everyone. Whoa! Whoa, that's me! Impossible. Alright. Let's do this. Um, left click to turn on the night vision camera. While recording, if you're recording paranormal activities, your convincing level will increase. Think of the convincing level as a high score. If recording, battery drains three times as fast. Good luck and be sure to walk around the whole house. Uh, the hell do I record again? Hold right, oh, hold right click to record, okay. I see, and three times, all right. Fuck! Lighting guys didn't put the key back under the mat. Better have not taken it with them. You know what, not gonna lie, for this being built two years ago, it feels decent and it looks relatively decent. Uh, oh, press one to dismiss. <laughs> Forgot you had to do that. I didn't even build those chairs, I took them online. <laughs> But I think everything else I built, if I remember right. Uh, I believe there's a key somewhere here. Fuck, I'm stalling so much, I should be speedrunning it. Oh, it's right there. I thought it was literally under the tree over here somewhere. I'm already failing. So we got the key. E2 toggle door. Nice. I'll probably set my stopwatch up so I know how long this video is. Hey, Alan. I just want to let you know that it won't be That's my voice! That's my voice! Something important came up. I'll be sure to come on this by game tomorrow is morning. Spooky. Until then, just use that new night vision camera you just bought. By the way, some of my workers said that they kept hearing some strange noises when they came on by to inspect the place. You might want to call on your contractor to take a look at that. I'm guessing it's a problem with your vents. Well, anyways, see you tomorrow then. Bye. That's a nice voice. I like it. Alright. So the cool thing about this house is, it's actually a house modeled, um, it's based on an actual house, in real life, believe it or not. 
a house that I worked with, um, worked on with my dad to renovate. And I built it pretty much almost the exact same way it's built in real life. Laundry room was over here. And the living room. It's a cool house, I like it. And I'm actually very happy with the way it... No, 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 and usually, actually, the ping pong table is not there and there's no furniture at all. It's just I added that there to spice up the game a bit. This TV. Didn't even build it. Took it online. <laughs> the thing with this game is it was built um, before I knew how to use Blender. So almost everything in this game and all the games uh, prior to this one have been used have been built using simple cube textures and or cube cube uh, meshes cube models and just stretching the cubes stretching cylinders and spheres and whatever just to build my stuff so like this table for example built with just cubes this couch isn't mine the floor is just a cube walls are just the cube ceilings the doors the frames just cubes stretched and everything whereas now i build games with a uh, blender and so much better because you could actually bend things it's incredible <laughs> it's a lot more open than just having a standard cube and stretching it and whatever you could bend it shrink it put holes in it and it's a lot more convenient i actually don't remember where the first trigger is it's a little brutal oh actually i'm pretty sure it's upstairs Batteries? Oh, I didn't even notice there were batteries at the top uh, right there. Holy. Another thing about this game that I realized was a major problem. Um, the house is too big. So finding certain triggers was an absolute pain in the ass. So that was very unfortunate. I didn't quite put that into consideration when I was building the game. Ooh. Turn up the volume a bit more to 80. Oh, I definitely know where to go now. <laughs> the basement. Even in real life, it's not even finished yet. The basement. So That's why the whole basement in the game isn't finished yet. Am I still here? What the hell happened? Yeah, that's what I'm trying to figure out. I built the thing and I don't even know what happened. Nice bathtub, hey. It's quality. something. <laughs> I don't want to be here anymore. Definite. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Definitely didn't build that. I had no idea what I was doing back then. Unless it's a cube, probably didn't build it. Or a cylinder or whatever. No, I don't want to get out of here. Oh shit, I was about to say, why don't I just break the window, but... I guess I put that into consideration when I was building the game as well. Board. Oh yeah, the whole house is boarded up. I forgot about that. Oh shit, the battery. Ooh. Oh, just in time! Oh fuck. Hey Alan, she said look behind you. She said, 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 look behind you. 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 Holy shit, that beep is 
insane. Yeah, so far the battery is a little too weak. Notice that. It's quite annoying. I can see why people hate batteries now. <laughs> oh, Jesus, why is the door open that way? There's no baseboard over there! I failed. <laughs> Damn it! Oh, I wasn't even recording. <laughs> Damn it! Oh, I completely forgot about that. <laughs> it was actually a lot of fun, I'm not gonna lie. Nine over here. No, it doesn't happen yet. Eventually the door will slam shut. Spook you out. God damn it, that double bounce gets me sometimes. Oh man. Let's move in my furniture. Oh my god. This is like level 4 stuff over here. It's a thick ass chair as well. Love it. Oh, I keep forgetting that we have a battery. Yeah, honestly, I'm not, not a fan of the battery system now that I'm actually playing the game. For real. Oh my god. It's actually quite nice playing a horror game that you don't remember everything about yet. And I'm supposed to be speedrunning this as well, and I don't remember exactly where I'm supposed to be going. Oh, damn. Fuck, my battery as well is about to screw me over. Okay, I gotta, I gotta go get my battery. Holy crap! <laughs> I freaking forgot about that. Oh man, holy fuck, I need to grab the fire extinguisher on the kitchen island. Hey, I remember where that is. Oh no, I gotta go get my battery first. Hey, smoke going through the wood. <laughs> oh crap, that actually got me so good. I'm coming! What was I thinking? You can't! You can't! Use a fire extinguisher. You, you can't extinguish a fire when your battery's running out. You, you gotta have a flashlight first. Like, it's common sense. Like, who would go get batteries? Oh, it just doesn't make sense. That's pretty loud. Not gonna lie. And I know what's gonna happen here. <laughs> Boom! Beautiful. Did that get you guys? <laughs> no damage from the explosion. Was that just an illusion? Okay, I don't remember this noise. I could have sworn something's supposed to happen in the office, but guess not. Hey, look at that texture. <laughs> the keys are on the side of the keyboard as well. Quality. Oh, fuck. No! Now this is the worst, if you're in this situation and you know what to do and your battery's about to run out. I can't imagine the frustration that must have caused for some people. Makes me feel bad. That's a pretty nice power outlet right there, look at that. If anything, that's, 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 that's quality. <laughs> oh! Now that I knew it was gonna happen. I knew for a fact that was gonna happen. And then, we got 
this beastie over here. I don't know if I want to do it. I don't know if I want to do it. I don't know if I want to do it. <laughs> Gotta get batteries first. <laughs> if you're ever in a situation like this in real life, okay, you see someone on your wall, okay, you don't confront them. You gotta go get batteries first, and then, and then, you take out your camera and record it. Just in case. Just in case. Just in case. Ooh. And it just casually disappears like it doesn't. It was never there. It was never there. That's how casually it just disappeared. And seeing this house actually brings back some really nice memories. Nice shower over here. Can I open this? No, I can't. Oh my god. <laughs> I forgot about that. <laughs> oh. Hello? Oh, frick. Oh, it's so nice getting scared from some of the little odd ones that I just don't remember. I'm trying to remember if there's anything else. Maybe up here? Oh my god. Damn it. The graphics are pretty nice. Oh, never mind. <laughs> okay, the phone is downstairs. I know that for a fact. But is there any more scares? Or is that it? Sorry to disappoint, but I think that's it, to be honest with you. Like, you can tell the 3D sound was horrible for the game as well, because the sound's going through the... through all the walls and everything. And but like I said, for two years ago, this this is actually a little better than I thought it'd be. Can't go out here. I'm coming. Downstairs is no more scares. I'm. Yeah, let's go downstairs really quickly. Just double check because I actually don't remember. Oh shit, my battery. Might have to leave right now. Oh my god. Oh, I'm not gonna risk it, man. The battery's gonna run out. Not gonna risk it. Screw it. Let's just, let's just end it. Run! Run! <laughs> That's so ugly. <laughs> oh my god, what was I thinking? What a way to end it. Now we're gonna get a little bit of a story. Data was 62%. You've completed it in nine... What the hell? Oh, okay, I was like, did I only give it in seconds? 15 minutes. Absolutely horrible. I was expecting a lot better than that. I'm shaming myself now. Continue. Is there no backstory to it? I'm pretty sure I would have put a backstory to it. There we go. Alan was found at his home at an un unrecognizable state. His face was pushed in, in a concave manner. Also, his ribcage was missing as well, nose removed and both legs scattered throughout the house. Someone explained that a paranormal presence that looks throughout the night has done this, but we really don't know what to believe. A camera was found, but the footage seems to have been blurred. Only the audio could be heard. No one can conclude what they had heard, but it did not sound human. What a shame. Our only suspect regarding the stairwell death has died an even more brutal death than the young lady in the floor 2 maintenance area. Now that little reference over there, the floor 2 maintenance area, regards to, um, what's the name? Continuously, which is a little stairwell PT style game, which I will probably be playing next after this one, because that's another game I want to play. Really want to get back into all my old games to see how it was, to see kind of how I was developing in the past, and uh, go on from there. Maybe in the la last, I'll probably play um, the latest one, Girls Fabric Face. Released August 22nd, 2015. Man, that feels like it was only a year ago, not two. 
Well, that's it. We did it. Not gonna lie, that was actually really fun. A little bit short. Pretty damn short, actually, but a lot of damn fun. Makes me really excited to go play um, continuously now. I might just do that now in one recording and upload the two videos all together. So in the meantime... I will see you soon. How do I quit? Oh yeah, that's how you... <laughs>